I'm so excited about my next guest, actress and comedian Sky Townsend from HBO's A Black Lady Sketch Show. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. This is great. And I got to tell you, we need some uplifting program and uh, programming. And this is definitely in that vein. I mean, I have laughed so much. So for those out there that don't know, can you tell us about the show? Yes. So the show is just like a break from reality. I feel like, you know, we shot two seasons in the pandemic and our goal was just to keep people laughing during these really crazy times. So if you tune in, it's nothing political. It's nothing heavy. It's nothing crazy. You're just going to see some of your favorite guests, uh, favorite celebrity guests coming in and playing with us. And, you know, it's our third season. So we're really in a special groove now because now we know how each other works and we're like, okay, <laughs> we yeah. know what we're doing now, you know. That is so fantastic. So tell us about your role. Well, I play about 20 to 25 different characters this season. Uh, so it's super exciting because every day that you show up, you're somebody new, right? Like one day I could be from Argentina and the next day I'm from Brooklyn and the next day I'm from Mississippi. And so it's such a, a challenge as an artist to just show up to work and, and be prepared for whatever the role brings. So I want to watch a clip now. This is a great clip. Oh, goodness. One, two, three. Oh. Be vulnerable. And ladies, ah, you're doing so great in class, on your paintings and in life, from what I can tell. But hey, I'm just going to have to get vulnerable with you ladies for a second. Is that OK with you? I'll fire your game. What just happened? Now, I just moved to the city, and I'm realizing how hard it is to make friends as an adult. Is there any chance you ladies are looking for a fourth? Huh? Maybe we can get our living single, our entourage, our golden girls, our ninja okay. dolls on. That is hilarious. All right. So tell us about that one segment where you're at this, you know, painting class. And <laughs> I, I am telling you, I love the painting instructor too funny. <laughs> That is one of my favorite characters. Uh, between the hair and the makeup, we got to actually design our characters this season. So when I went in oh. on that one, I was like, okay, this is how I imagine her. She has a ducktail on the left side of her neck and uh, she wears high water pants and I oh, want her to have sneakers so she can cartwheel. And so it is just so exciting. And I love when people see that clip next to me yeah. interviewing because <laughs> they realize how wild we get on the show. But uh, that is one of my favorite characters, Jean Jean. Uh, she is an art teacher from Argentina and she talks like this and you know she's so crazy and so silly and so preparing for her I just I had a ball one of my favorite yeah. characters of the whole season yeah 100%. that is yeah I love that so I want to talk just a quick moment about your podcast unpack and bounce back with your cousin yeah. Raina Biddy yeah. I listened to some of your podcasts and that's a, we're going on a different strain there, right? This is about telling your story and helping people to heal and get stronger. So yeah. how has it been being involved in, and helping others through your podcast? Ooh, it's it's extremely vulnerable, which is something that comedians mm -hmm. like to avoid <laughs> being yeah. vulnerable. So yeah. it's it's very interesting because you know I was having a conversation with my cousin Reina, who's like a best selling author. She's fantastic, a poet, and we were having all these talks about things we've learned in our twenties. And I said, I think this could be really helpful to somebody. What we've learned about heartbreak, what we've learned about starting over when you thought you had things figured out. And so mm -hmm. we we set up this podcast and we launched it over the pandemic. And we did not expect for it to just blow up seemingly overnight. And so it's been really therapeutic to share our truths. And, you know, yeah. it's it's vulnerable. It's definitely different, different than comedy. I can say that. <laughs> it is different. And I and I feel like it, you know what, there's just so much healing in your truth and helping others to feel comfortable to tell their truth, right? To help them to move towards their he healing journey. Yeah. And in comedy, you kind of can put all that stuff away. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We yeah. run from it in comedy or we make it exactly. a joke and we never face it, you know, so it's important exactly. to face it. Yeah, it is so important to, to heal. So let's talk about some upcoming projects. I mean, my God, you're doing so much, but and, and maybe even a dream role for you. 
Oh gosh. You know, right now I'm just figuring out what's next. I did dive a little into the cartoon world and I'm really excited about that. I'm not allowed to say which show yet, but when I got the yeah. call, I was like, ah! so I'm super excited to do that. Um, and, mm -hmm. and just really developing my own projects right now. I'm fleshing out my own ideas and working on scripts. And, you know, by, by working with Robin Thede, I'm able to see somebody be in front and behind the camera. And so I'm just, I'm doing my homework so that when I get the shot, I'm ready. That's, that's where I'm at. I I think you're going to be ready to, so. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Guy, for coming on the show. And guys, you gotta check out HBO's A Black Lady Sketch Show and binge season three on HBO Max. I mean, it's a good one. So thank you again, Sky. Thank you so much. <laughs>